Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So with this being the final episode of the Influencer Series, I wanted to pick a look from a YouTube Originals series that was the finale look. I actually chose the Insta Influencer one, which you guys all know is hosted by James Charles. So I chose James Charles because he's one of the biggest influencers on YouTube and I figured that a lot of you have probably seen the episode or the finale episode of Instant Influencer and it was a look that was very much impactful because the color first was orange which is not my favorite color but I have to say that seeing him in this kind of makes me want to try orange out. <laughs> I actually met James Charles at a Jen M launch party for her brand Eggy and he was super sweet. I asked him for a picture and he was like super enthusiastic about it and it was very refreshing to see that with somebody that young that had amassed that much fame that he was super down to earth and you know that's something that you kind of really don't see. So now let's get into that James Charles instant influencer finale look. So we are starting off with a previous fashion sketch and we're switching the pose to look like the reference picture from that orange look on the season finale of Instant Influencer. Now let's jump in and start sketching out that two-piece tuxedo look. I really like this look. It looks like it's a deconstructed tuxedo blazer made into a two-piece type of ensemble. And I'm really loving that glittery elastic strapping on her waist. Super cute with a cutout. Don't forget that sheer chiffon skirt. I'm loving all this draped detail. Now we're moving in and adding all those details like the little waist buckle with elastic strapping. Now let's jump in and fill him out with some solid colors. And as we're doing this, I'm wondering, did you guys have a favorite look or challenge or maybe even a contestant from this series? If you guys did, sound off below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now let's play around with the transparency tool to give the skirt a chiffon look. And now we're moving in and shading out all of her skin. And make sure you touch all that skin, honey. All that skin, okay? And once again, we pop in that reference picture so we can shade in those bronzed stems. Now let's add some movement and texture to this outfit by adding in all of those folds and the little creases around the sleeves and onto that skirt. I'm loving how the designer Brian Hearns did this look and I believe he also did another blue look on this series. Now let's go back into that skirt and start adding some shading to really accentuate those drapes. Let's not forget to add some details to that buckle. Moving on to the shoes. I looked everywhere online to try to find a full picture, but I could not find any. So I decided to go with a pair of classic orange pumps. If any of you out there can find a full pic, I would love to see what he's actually wearing. Let's move on to those perfectly manicured claws. And I can't even imagine how hard it must be to put on makeup with those, but either way, they're fierce. Now let's stick it to the top and add some details to that hair before we get into that face.
And now it's time for makeup time. Ooh, Mariah Carey better watch out because I'm coming for that gig. <laughs> but anyways, let's get it together and get back to this look. I am loving how he did this red, orange, and yellow to make it look like flames. And I'm loving how he fanned it up into his forehead and then contoured his cheeks with it. So good. And now to his signature eyebrows. As you can tell, I already had an outline for these, but at this point I went in with an airbrush tool to fill them out, and then I went in with a calligraphy brush to give them individual hair strokes, and then at the end I shaped them out at the edges to give it the same eyebrow shape as the inspiration picture. Now we're finishing him up and adding those final touches, like a little bit more nose shading, my signature, and some sparkle details to that buckle, and there he is, all finished. I had so much fun doing this influencer series, and I'm wondering what you guys thought about it, and if you guys had any ideas for any future videos that I can do. So leave your thoughts in the comments section, and you never know, I just might address one of your suggestions. Like always, remember to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos, and share this video with all of your friends. And also in addition, please remember that you can follow me on Instagram with the same name Mendozagram, and I'll see all of you in my next video.